Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to calculate in Excel using an absolute cell reference, but we can also use the spill feature in Excel to do the same thing. So my students recently had this as a quiz question in an Excel-based quiz, and they needed to calculate the commission for each employee sales. And the only reason there's kind of a lot of employees because I didn't want them to type that same formula over and over or to easily and copy and paste it. So a couple ways we could do this. And one really quick way that most students went to was simply to equals the sales for one particular employee multiplied by the commission rate, which is off to the side there in cell G1. And then ideally, they would uh, make that an absolute cell reference in G1. Now that we have that correct formula, we can just double click the fill handle, populate all of those others. The sum is already down there. So now each particular formula is going to reference G1 as expected. So a pretty easy task and quick to do if you're aware of uh, absolute cell references. So that was pretty slick. A couple of students, literally two students, use the new spill feature in Excel, which is also pretty darn nice. So in that example, I can go to one my first employee there, and I can do something like equals the commission rate, which is still in cell G1. I'm not going to make it absolute though, and I can multiply it by the range of cells which constitute the sales values over there. And that's all I've got. So I've got G1 times the range of cells B2 to B31. Now when I press enter in Excel, it understands that I'm doing a spill and it's basically giving me the correct response for each particular employee. But notice there's no real value in these other cells. Instead, it's all in that first cell. And basically, I'm taking that G1 and multiplying it by the sales for each employee. And we can test that this is still accurate. If I change that 1.8 to a 2%, for instance, we're going to see that all of these are getting updated and we can see that it's accurate. For instance, 90,000, 2% of that would be 1,800. So it's another way to go and uh, not a bad way to go as long as you're doing it intentionally and you understand how Excel is giving you all of this information because it is kind of weird to click on a cell that looks like it should contain some data and seeing that it's empty. It doesn't seem to have any information. So you're not sure how that occurred. Okay, so there's the spill feature, which is basically a trying to make a slicker, more efficient way to use the same formula in an entire range of cells. Thanks for hanging out with me.